Well, the Senate leadership has resolved to pay a congratulatory visit to President Bola Tinubu for his emergence as chairman of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS. The leadership is made up of Senate President Gotswil Akbabio, his deputy Jibreen Burrow, and all the principal officers of the OPA Legislative Chamber. The resolutions passed by the lawmakers after deliberation on a motion was sponsored by the deputy Senate President of the Senate, Jibreen Barao presenting a motion on the floor of the Senate. Barao said Tinubu's emergence as ECOWAS chairman in Guinea-Bissau reaffirms Nigeria's leadership role on the African continent in general and sub-region in particular. The of ECOWAS in 1975, Nigeria has played key leadership roles, particularly in the promotion of sub-regional security, defense of democracy and human rights, economic integration and collective response to security within the sub-region and ECOWAS is even better placed under the chairmanship of President Bola Ametinubu GCFR in the discharge of the above mandates among others. We have a cause to celebrate that our president has been made the leader of the cause. Mr. President, one way that this Senate, and indeed the National Assembly, will help Mr. President lead the ECOWAS is through ECOWAS Parliament. We have the Parliament, and I'm sure you will soon reconstitute the membership of the Parliament. Issues that are germane to us, and indeed across the ECOWAS community, must be at the front banner. And for us, security, infrastructure development, and these are some of the issues that Mr. President himself has championed before and has promised to champion. The President's statement about Nigeria is back. For me, sir, being elected as President is wonderful, but we also know that these are more of, they rotate from time to time. What I found exciting and worth commending is not the fact of his election, it is the boldness with which he spoke, the confidence with which he spoke, and denounced the idea of one after the other coup plotters re, you know, infiltrated to the sub-region, and his commitment that the West Africa sub-region must defend democracy, and that he will provide leadership for all of those things. For me, it is not occupy office that matter. It's what we do with the office. His first statement that day for me gave me confidence that truly, this is the leader of the black world speaking to his brothers in West Africa. There is no going to always stop in this. We are still expecting that before, Nigeria plays a leading role in Africa. But Nigerians have been going behind in playing international politics. And international politics means respect for our citizens, means respect for our passport, means also respect to dignity of labor of Nigerian people working in other countries. So I congratulate Mr. Uh, President Tinibu on this occasion, but urge him to go further. We're expecting that very soon he will be chairman of AU so that we can use that position to address the issue of Nigerians living. In his remark, President of the Senate, Godzul Akbavio, expressed hope that President Tinubu's emergence will create an opportunity to address the ill treatment method on Nigerians in most of the West African countries. Uh, I had pointed out that once we pass through the door into the chambers, we drop the issue of minority and otherwise. We are all senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that is why there is a unanimity of opinions here, because the honor done to Mr. President is an honor done to the entirety of Nigerians and to all of us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.